In the world of web development, security is paramount. It's like locking your doors at night, but for your website or application. Without proper security measures, you leave your project vulnerable to attacks. These attacks can compromise sensitive data, disrupt services, and damage your reputation. Imagine building a beautiful house without any locks on the doors or windows. That's essentially what it's like to have a website without security. Anyone can walk in and take what they want. That's why it's crucial to prioritize security from the very beginning of your development process. Security should be an integral part of every stage from design to deployment. By implementing robust security measures, you can protect your users, your data, and your hard work. Remember, a secure web application is a trustworthy web application. Authentication is the process of verifying a user's identity. It's like showing your ID card to enter a secure building. In web development, authentication ensures that only authorized users can access certain resources or perform specific actions. The most common method of authentication is using a username and password combination. When a user enters their credentials, the system checks them against a database of registered users. If the credentials match, the user is authenticated and granted access. However, relying solely on passwords can be risky. Passwords can be easily guessed, stolen or forgotten. That's why it's essential to implement additional security layers, such as two-factor authentication or 2FA. 2FA adds an extra step to the authentication process, typically requiring users to enter a unique code sent to their mobile device. This adds an extra layer of protection, making it much harder for unauthorized individuals to gain access. Authorization goes hand in hand with authentication. While authentication verifies who you are, authorization determines what you're allowed to do. It's like having different levels of access within a company. Once a user is authenticated, the system needs to determine their access rights. This can be based on their role, permissions or other criteria. For instance, an administrator might have full access to all features, while a regular user might only have limited access. Authorization can be implemented using various techniques, such as role-based access control or RBAC, or access control lists known as ACLs. RBAC assigns roles to users, and each role has a predefined set of permissions. ACLs, on the other hand, define permissions for specific resources. By implementing proper authorization mechanisms, you can ensure that users only have access to the information and functionality they need to perform their tasks. This helps prevent unauthorized access and maintains data integrity. In today's interconnected world, users often interact with multiple web applications and services. OAuth, which stands for Open Authorization, and JWT, or JSON Web Token, are modern security protocols that simplify and enhance authentication and authorization in such scenarios. OAuth allows users to grant third-party applications access to their accounts on other platforms without sharing their passwords. For example, you can use your Google account to log into a website without creating a new account. JWT, on the other hand, is a standard for securely transmitting information between parties as a JSON object. It's commonly used for authentication and authorization purposes. JWTs are digitally signed, ensuring the integrity and authenticity of the information they contain. By leveraging OAuth and JWT, you can streamline user authentication, enhance security, and provide a seamless user experience across multiple platforms. Section 5, HTTPS and SSL TLS encrypting communication. HTTPS, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, and SSL TLS, which stands for Secure Sockets Layer and Transport Layer Security, are essential for securing communication between a web browser and a web server. They encrypt the data transmitted between them, making it much harder for attackers to intercept and steal sensitive information. Imagine sending a postcard with your credit card details written on it. Anyone who intercepts the postcard can easily read your information. HTTPS is like putting that postcard in an envelope before sending it. When you visit a website using HTTPS, your browser establishes a secure connection with the server. This connection is encrypted using SSL TLS, ensuring that any data transmitted between them remains confidential. You can tell if a website uses HTTPS by looking for the padlock icon in the address bar. 
By using HTTPS and SSL TLS, you can protect sensitive user information such as login credentials, credit card details, and personal data from being compromised during transmission. Section 6 Core Controlling Cross Origin Requests. CORS, which stands for Cross-Origin Resource Sharing, is a mechanism that allows web pages from different origins to interact with each other. An origin is defined by the combination of protocol, domain and port. For security reasons, web browsers enforce a same origin policy. This policy restricts web pages from making requests to a different origin than the one they were served from. However, there are legitimate cases where you might need to allow cross-origin requests. Cause provides a way to control which origins are allowed to access your resources. It uses HTTP headers to specify whether a server allows a particular origin to make requests. For example, you can configure your server to allow requests from a specific domain or to allow requests with specific HTTP methods. By properly configuring cores, you can prevent unauthorized cross-origin requests while still allowing legitimate ones. This helps mitigate the risk of cross-site scripting or XSS attacks. Section 7, SQL Injection. A sneaky attack, SQL Injection, or SQLI, is a common web security vulnerability that occurs when malicious SQL code is injected into data inputs, typically through web forms or API endpoints. This injected code can then be executed by the database server, potentially allowing attackers to view, modify, or even delete sensitive data. Imagine a login form that asks for a username and password. An attacker could enter a malicious SQL query into the username field, such as OR1 equals 1. If the application doesn't properly sanitize user inputs, this query could be executed, potentially granting the attacker access to the system. To prevent SQLI attacks, it's crucial to sanitize user inputs before using them in SQL queries. This involves removing or escaping special characters that could be interpreted as SQL code. Additionally, using parameterized queries or prepared statements can help prevent SQLI by treating user inputs as data rather than executable code. Section 8, XS, Beware of Malicious Scripts. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, is another common web security vulnerability that occurs when malicious scripts are injected into a website or web application. These scripts can then be executed in the browsers of other users, potentially stealing their cookies, hijacking their sessions, or redirecting them to malicious websites. Imagine a blog that allows users to post comments. An attacker could post a comment containing malicious JavaScript code, such as, if the blog doesn't properly sanitize user-generated content, this code could be executed in the browsers of other users who view the comment. To prevent XSS attacks, it's essential to sanitize user inputs and outputs. This involves removing or escaping special characters that could be interpreted as HTML or JavaScript code. Additionally, using a templating engine that automatically escapes user-generated content can help prevent XSS. Section 9. Data validation and sanitization, keeping data clean. Data validation and sanitization are crucial aspects of web security. Data validation ensures that user inputs meet specific criteria, while data sanitization cleanses data of potentially harmful characters or code Think of data validation as a bouncer at a club. The bouncer checks IDs to make sure everyone entering meets the age requirement. Similarly, data validation checks user inputs to make sure they conform to the expected format, type and range. Data sanitization, on the other hand, is like washing your hands before eating. It removes any dirt or germs that could make you sick. Similarly, Data sanitization removes any potentially harmful characters or code that could compromise your application. By implementing robust data validation and sanitization techniques, you can prevent a wide range of security vulnerabilities, including SQLI, XSS, and others. Section 10. Conclusion, Building Secure Web Applications. In the ever-evolving landscape of web development, security is not a one-time task, but an ongoing process. 
By understanding and implementing the best practices discussed in this essay, you can build more secure web applications that protect your users, your data and your reputation. Remember to prioritize security from the very beginning of your development process. Implement strong authentication and authorization mechanisms. Encrypt communication using HTTPS and SSL TLS and control cross-origin requests using cores. Be aware of common vulnerabilities like SQLI and XS and take steps to prevent them through data validation and sanitization. By making security an integral part of your web development workflow, you can create trustworthy applications that users can rely on. Stay informed about emerging threats and best practices to ensure your applications remain secure in the long run.